Hey guys, welcome back to another one. I appreciate you checking it out. Again, this is only my second podcast, so I'm not sure how this is going to go. Um, I'm working on maybe getting something in the house put together because I'm literally sitting in the Walmart parking lot right now filming this. So I look like an idiot. There's people driving by, people walking by looking at me like, why is this guy filming in his car? But I don't care. Uh, I'm here to give you some content. So I have a couple things that I'm working on that are hopefully going to make things get better and hopefully we can get a new part or two for the WRX sometime soon that I can do a video on those. But what I'm really here to talk about today is the new WRX. Now I noticed a lot of buzz on the BRZ has kind of taken off because it's out and it's available now uh, but the buzz on the WRX has sort of been dying down a little bit and I kind of want to bring some of that buzz back because I found a very exciting video um, that sort of showcases the STI. Uh, which isn't actually the STI, it's a S4 WRX in Japan with STI parts on it. So the WRX S4 was a Japan, as far as I know, it was a Japan only variant. So it's right hand drive and has a bunch of other options. But we're going to take a quick look at the interior, the exterior and see what's different from the WRX that was unveiled to us. And then basically we're going to make a decision whether or not we like what we're looking at. So I was going to make a video when the WRX first released, giving my impressions. When it first released, I wasn't like, oh my god. I wasn't really excited or surprised. I sort of expected it uh, because of those spy shots that we got. We almost knew what it was going to look like. So I don't know why so many people really were like, hey, this thing is like ridiculous. Well, you saw the spy shots. I saw the spy shots. We all saw the same pictures. We all saw the renderings. And so we all knew exactly what to expect. The only thing that did catch me off guard was obviously the big thing that people don't like is first off the taillights, second off the rear bumper, third thing is the fender flares. Um, so what is my opinion on it? Well, I want to make a video about this a long time ago and I never did. I've seen the car in person quite a few times now, went to Boxer Fest, Subi, uh, Subi Fest, and so I saw the car at both of those events and got to really kind of look into it. I'm super excited for it. There's some things that I'm not happy about and there's some things that they're going to they're gonna have to fix them or they're going to have to kind of revamp it. But the aftermarket, guys, is going to completely change this car, just like they always do. There's going to be ways to alleviate all the issues that we're having with this car. So let's get this off the plate right now. 2022 WRX or STI, am I going to be purchasing one of them? The answer is, if the money allows it and I have the funds available, I do plan on purchasing the 2022 WRX or STI. I'll most likely get a WRX. If the STI completely blows my mind and they really fix some of the issues that I have with the car, I might get the STI. So let's look at the interior. First things first, you're gonna notice this red leather, which looks very similar to the, pre, or the current generation, I'm sorry. Uh, it looks very similar to the same red leather that we have on the current generation of cars and such. Uh, the, the color around the shifter trim is definitely new though, um, but that was present on the previous S4 for this body style that we currently have. Um, but you can see like that brushed black look on the dash, those beautiful red Recaros with the suede inserts, uh, the Alcantara. It looks incredible. I really like those seats and I hope they stick with that for the STI. Maybe not the solid red headrest. Uh, that looks a little funny to me, but you can see the S4 is obviously a CVT. It's right-hand drive because it's a Japan-only car, um, but you have that black leather on the doors. You have the red stitching. Uh, it looks great. I actually like the red uh, center rest as well. Maybe do black in the center and red on the sides, but never nevertheless, it looks good. And then here you're going to see they're selecting their drive modes and doing all that sort of thing. However, as far as I know, this is only available on the CVT cars or the, I'm sorry, Subaru Performance Transmission. Let's go ahead and look at the outside of this car. So it looks very similar to the one that we already have seen, except this one is in red. This is the first time we've seen this car in red, which looks beautiful. Uh, it looks absolutely gorgeous in red. You're going to notice here they're showing you some splitters. Um, and you can see it's a gloss black or maybe it's a paint matched option or just a red option you get to choose. Um, but you notice how on the front bumper they have some gloss black additions uh, where it was textured black before. So I am happy to see that. I think that'll look good. Uh, you can see right there you got that rear diffuser. It looks really good with the factory bumper. I actually really like that. It's a lot nicer looking than the current uh, diffuser that we have for this body style from factory. Looking at the wheels, nothing exciting there really. I mean, people are going to change that out as soon as they get the car anyway. 
uh, wheels is like one of the biggest modifications you can expect on you know a JDM car. You know, but they they show you that strut tower and they show you that flexible draw stiffener, and you know that's great and all, but really it's supposed to be one of the best handling cars they've ever built on this global platform. It's supposed to be incredible, so I'm not super worried about that. Um, but you can see just, I mean, it looks great. You can see how flat it stays in the corners. A factory car, you can see how flat that thing is sitting, going, whipping around through corners in this video. It looks great. Um, you know, it, it looks fast. They made it look fast. <laughs> um, but you never know until it actually comes out. Uh, I am noticing a couple things though, looking at this. They obviously didn't change the fender flares. They obviously didn't change that massive rear bumper or all the black on the front end of the car. Um, however, with the little addition of the gloss black in the front, I think it looks really good. Uh, and that's sort of what I expected. I didn't expect them to get rid of those textured pieces. I just expected them to maybe clean it up a little bit more on the STI. So hopefully the STI will be something similar to this, um, maybe with gloss black bumpers or gloss black flares. Maybe they'll actually paint the flares to match. Hopefully they find some way. If not, the aftermarket will take over and the aftermarket will fix it for them. There you can see STI performance. You know, it's not actually the STI, it is the S4 model. But if I'm being honest, I like the car. I think it looks really sharp. Now that I saw that red, I'm almost sold on red. That looks great. Uh, with the gloss black accents, I can just picture it. So if I had one, here's the things that I would change because I'm already convinced to get one. I already like the car, I already think it looks great. And if I have the money, I'm going to buy one. And before you ask, I'm not selling my WRX. Uh, I really don't plan on it unless something major happens and I just can't have it anymore. Um, but for the most part, I'm planning on keeping this and I'm hoping to get a 2022 WRX. And so here's some of the things I would do. First off, find a way to fit. I'm seeing a lot of DIY stuff I could do on that car. You know, there's some stuff that I have knowledge on, like maybe that center uh, piece between the taillights. I could actually sand that down, paint it to match the car. And then you just have those two individual taillights. You wouldn't have that bar going across the center, which is a lot of people's concern. I think that would take a, a, a better look at the front end. The rear bumper, you know, maybe Varus or somebody will come out with a full body kit for the car that will replace that unsightly rear bumper. Uh, in the meantime, you could always paint match it or do something with it to make it look better. I'm sure people will have carbon fiber covers or something. Um, the flares big thing the flares you know people are probably going to make carbon fiber covers for the flares or paint match covers for the flares that just stick them with 3m tape or bolt on or something there's going to be plenty of options out there once it actually happens um there's just a lot of things about that car that i do like though I, it looks really aggressive the grill i love the look of the grill i just don't like that bar that goes through the middle of the grill which was just like this um the grill that we got in this current generation but I'm sure there's going to be a JDM grill that doesn't have the bar. There's going to be other aftermarket grills that are going to replace that. Headlights. The factory headlights look great. Um, they are a little small, but they do look really good. And I've seen the car in person. Once you see it in person, it looks a lot more respectable. Uh, it really flows with the body lines. The hood scoop looks great. But I can just picture where I can see these aftermarket companies uh, making carbon fiber pieces and like putting them here and there or, or making paint match stuff. I can just see this car. So if you close your eyes and you really picture trying to modify this car, you can start to think of all the ways this thing can be improved. And when you start to think of all the ways this thing can be improved and customized, that's when you start appreciating the car a little bit more. The 2.4 FA24, that thing is going to be a powerhouse. I can tell you right now, it wasn't built for the Ascent. They built it for something else and they're testing it in the Ascent. But anyways, guys, I don't want to take up too much more of your time. Hopefully you enjoyed the video. I will see you guys in the next one. Let me know in the comments what you think of the 2022 WRX or S4 that you just saw. And, um, you know, subscribe if you want to see more content and leave me feedback as always. I'll see you in the next video.